Welcome to Top Crew Aviation. This is Captain P. K. Yadav. In other case, uh, now like uh, how do you request relay? Like let's say Abim Bora, all right, and uh, right of uh, Alpha 47415 nautical miles due autopilot failure, and you monitor Air India 889 air, all right. So guys, whenever you do not have contact with ATC, it means your transmitter is failed, all right. So there can be three situation. In RT exam, we always consider our transmitter is not working, but receiver of ATC is working always. Both is also not possible, otherwise exam cannot be conducted, guys. So you always assume that receiver is working, okay? So how you are going to request relay? You always uh, relay your request on 123.45, guys. So you will contact that ATC. Let's say, like Air India 889er, Victor Tango Alpha Bravo, Charlie on 123.45, negative contact with Ahmedabad control, 15 nautical miles, left of Bodar, flight level 325, unable RVSM due equipment, will rejoin Sierra Golf, flight level 280, request relay guys. So this is how we request relay. So do remember guys, we do not have in contact with ATC, but we monitor Air India 889R. So we will just in place of all station, you will use that aircraft call sign, then your complete message, body of the message. In the end, whatever you are going to tell your ATC, in the end, you are going to use this term request relay. It means you are requesting to Air India 889R to pass your message to the ATC because you are not in contact with the ATC guys okay and one more thing guys I'm telling you like in terms of uh, turbulence either we descend or we climb and uh, when we talk about CB clouds we will discuss in clouds we always take left or right and do remember it is very much important guys do not get confused between turbulence and weather now we are going to discuss C as I told you guys in previous example too if mode C is working and you are going to rejoin at Sierra Golf alright then your flight level would be 320 wherever you did leave the root corridor guys okay so we will discuss about root corridor wherever you are flying let's say point A to B and uh, root corridor is you know five nautical mile right side and five nautical miles left side wherever you are flying so the 10 nautical miles corridor known as the root corridor we will discuss in details too so the next situation is guys over bodar flight level 340 experiencing severe turbulence no contact with atc take action all right over here Whenever there is no contact uh, with ATC, the best thing is you need not to find any ATC on the chart. You always need to give the all station call. Wherever a severe turbulence comes, pen pen will come into the picture. So the call would be because we are experiencing two things at the same time. What? We are experiencing severe turbulence and no ATC in contact. Severe turbulence refer to Pan pan thrice and no ATC all station twice. So pan 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 all station all station in the vicinity of Boda Victor Tango Alpha Bravo Charlie on one two one decimal five. Now position Boda zero four zero zero Alpha four seven four flight level three four zero unable RVSM due turbulence. Deviating 15 nautical mile will maintain flight level 340 in 10 nautical miles, then descend to flight level 280. All external lights are on. Keep a lookout, guys. So, do remember there is one more important thing I do not know did I tell you or not. Whenever you take right turn until 10 nautical mile until 10 nautical miles guys you maintain the same flight level wherever you were once you have took the right turn and cross 10 nautical miles 
then you can change plus minus 500 as per your situation and condition at that point of time as per your you know heading as per your flight level so do remember whenever we deviate from your route we do not change flight level until 10 nautical miles then we do change whatever is the requirement accordingly guys so there are some important thing i would like to tell you we will always descend an exam for a safer reason guys all right so whenever c need to deviate from ats route or already on deviated track that can be anything because you have to decide like if atc has placed you on a route then you need to deviate or atc might can place you already you know on a deviated track so that you have to check and no atc in contact there will be all station call all the time guys do remember need to deviate from ats route or already on deviated track no atc in contact it means it would be all station call all the time guys so this is how we covered rbsm we covered how to make call for rbsm we covered like uh, whenever we do not have contact uh, with atc how we are going to make a call in rbsm in case we do not have contact with atc but somehow we monitor any aircraft how to relay that aircraft all right your message whenever you are not in contact with atc you are going to request so guys a quick recap about rvsm we know why do we need rvsm as we discussed we already know cbsm because earlier we were using previous uh, you know the separation above uh, flight level 290 that was for 2000 and uh, as we were in need of uh, more you know flight levels so this is how ICAO introduced across the globe about RBSM it stands for reduced vertical separation minimum or minima guys what reduced vertical separation minima and uh, applicable across the globe now we have 13 flight level available between flight level 290 to flight level 410 and uh, above flight level 410 we always uh, make a separation of 2000 so in same direction in conventional in cvsm we need 4000 uh, separation and in uh, opposite direction we need 2000 and uh, in rbsm everything is half like if you are flying in same direction aircraft a and b then your separation would be 2000 and if you are flying in opposite direction then your separation would be just 1000 then in case of uh, anything you are already flying in rbsm but uh, we learn like what are the equipment list which we need to comply the rbsm category for any aircraft in case any of the equipment is not working we will give information to the atc by using a uh, phrase enable rvsm due equipment and in case of turbulence uh, if we think that we are not able to maintain rvsm compliance then uh, we are going to inform atc using your present position and using this uh, phrase enable rvsm due turbulence now then uh, we learn like in case uh, we are not complying with the rbsm compliance uh, but uh, we still want to fly so there are some specified categories uh, under which uh, we can ask a specific or a special permission as for the category from atc now it is up to the atc and availability of rbsm atc may allow you or ATC may tell you that RBSM is not available. Now these all situation were like uh, let's say how you request descent whenever anything is not operational in terms of anything you are not able to maintain RBSM compliance like uh, somehow you get back to the a normal position like your instrument was not working but now it is working you got turbulence but now there is no turbulence so we learn like how we can come back and rejoin at the same flight level in rbsm2 so now we know each and everything 
about it with the categories without categories rejoining leaving how to leave flight level how to join that flight level again then we learn like in case atc is not in contact then how we are going to give the transmit the message to all of the station and what is the format and uh, let's say in case we are not in contact with atc but uh, we are in normal situation now so how do we come back on the rbsm track again wherever we did leave so we learned that too now let's say you are not in contact with atc but somehow you monitor any aircraft so we understood like how we do relay our message guys so whatever i told you about a request relay there are just two important things we need to remember we always use the call sign of aircraft then in the end request relay so guys this request relay it is not just for the rbsm you can request your relay to any aircraft in terms of any situation whatever it is whenever you are not in contact with atc so the procedure would be the same the body of the message would different it could be you know mayday situation it could be pan pan situation it could be weather it could be rbsm or any normal situation guys so it was not just for the rbsm this is what i want to make you clear and in the end i told you whenever you are not in contact with atc either you are going to divert or you are already on a diverted track all right you are always going to give all station call so this is how i try to give you i know this is a big topic but it is very important topic guys for your rt exam so handle with care learn each and every situation learn each and every condition of rbsm learn each and every format of rbsm because you are going to get rbsm question of for 20 marks guys okay so it is very important uh, so you cannot ignore this you have to uh, practice hard even though it is easy i do not uh, consider it uh, hard but yes it could be hard for you guys so if anybody who is thinking that it is tough or hard guys get back to me i am here to make it easy any question any query come back to me i would love to answer that query and in case you are still feeling this is tough guys come back to me i will make it easy for you for sure don't worry about anything this is life and this rt journey is really gonna be awesome I love this and uh, I hope you would also loving all the lectures so share it as much as you can so that all the aviation population get benefited maximum number of people get all these lectures uh, because this is something which is free of cost you clear all your doubts and uh, you can play it again and again in case you are not getting it uh, in one go guys because this is something which is new for you if you are listening this for very first time but yes if you try and listen it for twice or thrice guys if you know the basics you will understand easily all right guys so that's it for the rbsm we are done uh, with the rbsm basics and uh, with the different situations in rbsm and uh, how to make calls in rbsm under categories normal and whenever atc is not in contact so that's it in rbsm guys bye for now take care Here you go your checklist like subscribe and share thank you for watching